All right, Brush Monkeys, we're back, and this week we're painting this young lady. Her name is Ladoni, female rogue. And um, let me just zoom in on her real quick here. She is one of um, a bunch of different miniatures that I'd gotten from my local game store in their bargain bin because they're only like a dollar each. So I basically just went and grabbed one of uh, one of everything they had. Um, they had a lot of multiples and copies of the same figure. But um, as I was unpacking them and looking at them, I realized that a lot of them, like Ladoni here included, um, if you look at her hair, it kind of almost looks like dreadlocks, have very, uh, a lot of the ones that were in the bargain bin had kind of African American features. And um, I don't want to attribute that to some kind of uh, racism on behalf of my local gaming or painting groups but the fact that obviously if they're in the bargain bin it's because they're not selling and I realized that five of the six next miniatures that I have all fit into this category and so that's how I'm gonna paint them I'll be painting them as African Americans because whether these miniatures sell well or not I believe representation matters in gaming and I want more diversity in my own miniatures collection so all of these guys girls will be painted with black skin tones gives me an opportunity to learn how to paint them uh, I haven't painted a whole lot of African American skin tones so uh, that will be a learning experience for me. Um, but I am kind of disappointed in in my local group, or uh, can't really be the store's fault that they're not selling. But I, I'm disappointed that these were all bargain bin finds, if that makes sense. Um, so, I don't know, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously Caucasian, so I don't feel like I can really speak intelligently on this much larger problem of race in role-playing games, but, um, it's definitely an issue. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'll be using these these five figures to uh, to try out some different skin tones and bring a little more diversity to my miniatures collection. So stick around and uh, see where that goes. I will see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, we're back and we've made some progress on our Ladoni female rogue here. Um, I think she looks pretty good. I painted not only. I based, layered, and highlighted the skin and uh, shade washed it. And I also painted the hair and this uh, bandana thing she had on. Uh, painted that flesh hair as red just for a bit of spot color. Uh, the colors I used for her skin are well, based it in Reaper Master Series uh, Dark Shadow and gave it a wash, shade wash of uh, Reichland Flesh Shade. Layered it in Vallejo model color chocolate brown and then highlighted it in uh, Vallejo model color flat earth mixed with a little bit of the chocolate brown just to get a decent smooth transition and I think she looks pretty good um, I painted the bandana and I gave just a touch of color on her lips there with uh, the flesh terrors red contrast and then her hair was painted with Reaper Master Series Nightmare Black. So you get that that's black with uh, kind of blue highlights. It looks more blue on camera than it does in person. In person it looks a lot more black. Yeah, she looks pretty good so far. So uh, I'm going to let those dry. And then I'm going to come back and uh, touch up a little bit of her, her clothing and her... We'll see, her boots are going to be glossy black. Um, I believe is what I've got. No, they're going to be Corvus Black. 
Um, her body armor is going to be Black Templar uh, contrast paint. So I'll have to go over. There's a couple of places you can see there where the skin tone's gone over on the the armor. So I'll have to touch that up with a little bit of uh, gray sear, and then do those in in uh, Black Templar. Uh, her blades are going to be basilicanum gray with uh, both as our gold hilts. Um, since you can see a good deal more of that one's hilt, I might do might do that hilt in um, like a dark purple. I think it'd look really good. So yeah, she's coming along pretty nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause here and take a break, and then when we come back, we'll finish. Paint up. Right. See you soon. And I'm back. As you can see, I've got all her leather armor painted up. It all looks good in that black templar. I've got the blades done in basilicanum gray. Uh, I think what I'm going to do. Oh, I've also got the little purple on her uh, hilt there. Again, that looks a lot darker in person than it does on camera. I'm not sure why my camera lightens things up so much. But uh, yeah, she's looking really good so far. So I based the uh, belt and her belt pouch there in uh, gray sear, and I'm going to do them in snake bite leather. And then the uh, hilt and pommel of her sword and dagger are going to be basilicanum, excuse me, basilicanum gray. Uh, Balthazar gold with uh, a dry brush of golden griffin. And I'm going to dry brush the edges of the blades in uh, Necron Compound. So we'll have that. And then the base is going to be done with the usual uh, Dark Angels Green, with Niblet Green dry brush, and a uh, heavy black green base band. So I think she's really coming along well. I'm going to take a little break and let the uh, contrast paint finish drying. And then uh, we'll come back and do the metallics and the leather. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Alright, we're back and again we've made some progress on our girl here. Um, I got the hilts and pommels of her weapons painted with the Balthazar gold and her belt buckle painted with gold. Um, I also went ahead and did the uh, dry brushing on the edges of her weapons. So you'll see her edges, edges of her weapons are all nice shiny sharp and also dry brushed uh, the golden griffin on the golden parts um, and it looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with it. also went ahead and did the base with uh, the dark angels green so all that's left to do on her really is dry brush the base and then paint the base band with the heavy black green uh, I've kind of gone over it with the dark angels green anyway just because I was doing the rest of the base and that that acts as a nice uh, basing for the heavy black green when I go to put that on but um, yeah this she came together pretty quick I think the next time next time you see her she'll be completely done and she looks pretty spiff I'm pretty happy with how this young lady's turned out So I'm going to go take a break and let that uh, contrast paint dry, and then the next time you see this girl, she'll be completely done. Alright, see you soon. Bye. And there she is, Brush Monkeys, our finished Madoni, female rogue. She looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. So I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. And uh, in the meantime, if you want to see how to add one of the miniatures 
that we've painted on this channel to your own collection check out our instagram uh, tumblr and uh, patreon sites uh, if you want to support support us in doing what we do check out my patreon site check out my uh, merch store at storefrontier.com slash fly monkey studios you can get t-shirts sweatshirts uh, long sleeve shirts hoodies all kinds of stuff there um, go check that out and uh, in the meantime thanks for watching and I will see you next week bye